Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, I have a big old box from Vintage Chic Sense. As you know, or VCS, Vintage Chic Sense is owned by Kirby Welsh. She used to make videos here on YouTube. That is how her and I became friends. She then created a wax company based on all things vintage. And this is from the restock of 100 Days Till Halloween. So if you don't know, Kirby is huge into Halloween. All things spooky Halloween. Her house is actually decorated for Halloween all year long, which is just so cool. But anyway, she decided to do a 100 Days Till Halloween restock. So there's other things that weren't just Halloween themed, but the main featured were Halloween. So I did pick up quite a few goodies, including a little sampler, which I thought was super, super fun. But I have so many goodies. I did quick sniff through the box when it came yesterday because I just could not wait. But without further ado, let's get into it. As always, Kirby includes a two ounce scent shot sample in your order. And this is Bad Guy's Sugar Cookie. So Bad Guy, um, which is from her Billie Eilish collection. And this is Neon Green Pistachio Pudding Cake Waffle Cones and Cupcakes. And these two ounce scent shots are perfect. I Oh, that's really yummy. That's a very toned down pistachio. So if you like pistachio, but sometimes it's like, whoa, that's like way too overpowering. This is really nice. It's creamy from the waffle cone and the sugar cookie and the pistachio pudding cake really just comes in and gets super, super creamy. So I really like that. And these guys, what I do with them is I cut them right in half and I will do either a half in my bathroom, depending on the scent, or like for this scent, I'll cut in half and I'll put it in my bedroom because I have two warmers in my bedroom and it throws the whole day typically in a bedroom, these little scent shots. So really like that size. It's a great size to try out a scent. All right, so let's just dive right into the wax. The first thing I have is a butterfly bag, and it looks like the zipper didn't fully close, so she did double bag it, which is awesome. I mean, that just means it's going to preserve the scent. And it's perfect because this type of scent, I'm not even going to melt till next year. And it is in Surfer Boy Pizza. I saw so many people talk about this one, and it's really intriguing. I believe this is from the Stranger Things collection, and this is Fruit Pizza Blend. Sugar cookie crust, cream cheese frosting, kiwi, strawberry, blueberries, and mandarin oranges. And I love these butterfly bags. It's so perfect, especially for like this room. I can just put a butterfly in all the rooms and it ends up working really, really well for me. I really like this size and I go through a bag. And also, full disclosure, I did pay for this wax. I know I always say that with my VCS because people think that I'm friends with her. I get it for free. I don't. That's nice. I love fruit pizza. I actually, I like fruit pizza, but I really like a fruit tart where it has like the, um, the like cream custard and then the fresh fruit on top with like the citrus glaze. And that's exactly what this reminds me of. I can't detect one single fruit. Maybe like kiwi just because it's such a different fragrance you don't notice in a lot of oils. Oh, that's really yummy. And I love her little butterflies. They have little iridescent glitter. Oh, this is so pretty. Yeah, oh, I really like that. You hear the cats crying because they want attention. But, oh my gosh, this is so good. I'm so happy to have this. And like I said, especially because there's a sugar cookie base, her stuff does really good with a long cure time, especially like bakery. So that is just going to get tucked away for next year. All right, we'll save the sampler. These cats go crazy, especially with the hardwood floors. We'll start, we'll leave the sampler for last. The first thing I picked up were three souffles. Now, souffles are definitely not my favorite shape. I don't know. I just, I prefer other shapes that I don't have to cut as much, but I have been dying to try the Razzies, and I know you're like, well, try it. You got three souffles. Because I knew I was going to love it, because Kirby has the best raspberry, and when I saw, I'm just putting the other two down, when I saw that she offered the Razzies, I had to just pick it up in the next restock. And this is Raspberry Jam straight up. And if you know me, you know I love her raspberry. I feel like that's 
like a universal thing. Everybody loves her raspberry. Oh yeah. That is so good. I don't even need to pop it out of the tin. It's it. It's truly like a homemade raspberry jam with the seeds and everything just simmering on the stove. And it's like the scent you get when you're pouring the jam. Not that I've ever made jam, but I've seen videos. You pour the jam like into the glass, like the ball jars. That's what this smells like. It's not perfumey at all. It's truly fruity raspberry. And I know a lot of people say, I get perfumey notes from raspberry. I'm telling you, not with this one. That is incredible. And speaking of incredible raspberry, I also picked up three of her two-pack tiles. Now see, like this is what I'm talking about. This, I literally could just hand break and I have four warmers worth. So. The Razzies was straight up raspberry. This is Raspberry Jam Bakery. So this is buttery vanilla, fresh rolled dough, gooey batter, and a hint of sugared almonds, just like you walked into the bakery with raspberry jam. So that scent is like the universal bake shop scent that a lot of vendors have. I can't believe these cats. I can't. Anyway. I love this. I melted this recently, and I'm so glad she offered it again. It is that straight up raspberry jam, just with like, like it is, like you walked into a bakery. You get all the like rolled dough, the sugary cookies, a little bit of those sugared almonds. It is so yummy. I love this mixed with raspberry. It's one of my favorites, so I wanted to stock up. And like I said, these are also, like, it's a fruity scent. I could melt it around, but this is, like, a good summer scent. And, you know, with summer being over soon, whatever Charity thinks, but summer is going to be over soon. I needed to just stock up for next year. All right, continuing with the tiles, I got the Upside Down, and this is Keep Calm and Escape. The ups Escape the Upside Down while melting this creamy coconut bonfire blend with a dash of sandalwood. So, the Upside Down is from Stranger Things. I promise there's Halloween. I'm like, this is the Halloween. And meanwhile, I'm like listing up everything that's not. This is pretty, it smells like a Lush scent. Like one of Lush's bath bombs. It is a very creamy, creamy sandalwood. <sighs> coconut. Yeah, it's definitely not a tropical coconut though. It's more of a toasted coconut. Almost like a to this is almost like if you're, if you see like a very high end perfume that's like coconut sandalwood, where it's very like interesting and you smell it and it's very heavy but creamy at the same time because of that sandalwood really makes it smell perfumey but coconut does not make it smell tropical it almost just makes it more creamy and perfume like that's really pretty with a hint of the smoke from the bonfire this is going to be a good bedroom scent hence why like i like that it was just a two-pack tile because that way you don't have a ton and it's fun to just try out in the bedroom. The next one is Hoppers Alive, which is also from the Stranger Things collection. And this is a, guys, oh my god, now they're chasing each other throughout the apartment. I can't, they, they literally don't do this until I film. This is a white Russian inspired blend. Kahula, Kahula coffee and cream. Now, I did sniff all of these early. This is my least favorite. Yeah, it's just a little too coconutty for me. But I wanted to give it a shot because I do love coffee scents. And I will melt this, but this is definitely like a very coconut cream heavy coffee. So if you like coconut or you like white Russians, which she says is a white Russian inspired blend. So I assume this is like what a white Russian is. I don't drink that kind of stuff. So it's really good. Like I said, if you like that Kahula type of like coconut coffee scent. Now this one I have repurchased, I love. This is Sabrina Spellman. This is Palo Santo Vanilla Lace and Cashmere Fig. This is such a pretty, pretty blend. The Palo Santo is just the right amount of smoke. Oh my gosh. And the Vanilla Lace mixed with the Cashmere Fig makes it sensual, sweet. I think I need to pull this for a bedroom melt soon because I have some backups that have some good cure time. 
Yeah, this is so pretty. Oh my gosh. If you like perfumey scents and you want something different with Sweet from Fig, you have to try Sabrina Spellman. It is, I think it's going to turn into a cult classic from her because it really is so, so creamy and sweet, sultry, but that fig makes it sweet. Friends don't lie. Also from the Stranger Things collection. But remember, friends don't lie about how scrumptious this pumpkin pudding Nilla wafer pie blend is. So we got some pumpkin. Kirby does fall so well. For someone who loves Halloween and loves all things fall, fall is her go-to. Oh, this is so good. This reminds me of the pumpkin blizzards from Dairy Queen, where it's like the pumpkin ice cream with those pieces of pumpkin pie, but it's not like cinnamony, sugary, overwhelming. Well, it's, it's cinnamon sugary, not like cinnamon stick. Oh, that's nice. That's a very creamy, creamy pumpkin. And that's what I like about this, is I feel like no matter how artificial that Dairy Queen blizzard is, you know we all love it. It is just like creamy, rich, and delicious pumpkin pie. So you can't go wrong with that one. Oh, let's continue on. Now these are the four pack of coins. I also love these. And this is What Would Barb Do? And this is pomegranate apple cider. This, I don't believe this is necessarily a type, but this reminds me of Yankee Candle had like a pomegranate cider scent. Apple cider scents, for one, are quintessential for fall because it is truly that warm mulling spices. It's pictured like you're making a hot cider or a toddy on the stove. And when you make a pomegranate apple cider, that sweetness, that almost like mouth-watering. Pomegranate reminds me of how mango is. When I smell mango or pomegranate wax, it like makes my mouth water because it is so... I'm not even editing that out because it's real life and it's just like you have four kids. They run around like crazy, knock stuff over, they broke a warmer last week, I had wax all over the walls, it's real life. Anyway, pomegranate apple cider. Yep, it just adds that sweet, deep, dark, almost mouth-watering to the apple cider. This is going to be perfect for the fall. Like those really rainy, chilly fall days that are just, you just want to stay cozy in your house and love it. I absolutely love it. I, I picked up two of these. I, I thought I tried it, but when I looked through my sample bin, it was not it. But either way, I smelled it and I absolutely love it. This is Jigsaw. And this is blackberry jam butter cookies, sugar cookie dough, and campfire marshmallow. Now let me talk about this. Blackberry jam butter cookie. I don't know why it's having a moment in my house, in my nose, in my life. I'm loving blackberry jam butter cookie in wax. It's just so decadent and rich. And when you melt it, it's again, like those fresh picked bread scents. When you melt it, it almost is like it's being cooked fresh from the oven because the blackberry jam is sweet, a little bit like sticky sweet, and the shortbread cookie or the butter cookie really just, oh my God. And I know now what it smells like melting because I've melted so much of it recently that I know what this is gonna do like when it comes alive in the warmer. Oh my gosh. And mixed with campfire marshmallow and sugar cookie dough, I know I'm not one for like adding all these blender scents to wax, but with the campfire marshmallow, with the blackberry jam butter cookie, it kind of toasts the cookie and caramelizes it just enough with super, super sweet and rich. Uh, I cannot wait. This was just for July 19th, so I definitely like to let VCS sit for a little longer than that. Um, but blackberry jam butter cookie, I'm having a moment with it, and I could not be less excited. Like, I could not be more excited. I, I love that. Jigsaw. If she pours Jigsaw, snatch it up. Should I stay or should I go? And this is sugared apple and pumpkin clove butter. So that sounds pretty fall and Halloween to me. Now, sugared apple, I'm not sure if this is the sugared apple Bath and Body Works type or... I'm, I'm really trying to 
take my nose away when I'm smelling it of the pumpkin clove butter because it is that is what I smell. I smell, I definitely smell heavy clove, but I'm trying to like detect apple. And as I like take my nose away, I get like a light whiff of apple, but it's not super, super strong on the apple. It's definitely more clove. So I wonder if the apple is gonna come out more on warm. But as far as like pumpkin clove butter, you can tell there's more than just clove in it. You can tell there is a little bit more of a rich, decadent fall treat. <sighs> really good. I just, this makes my heart happy. And then I see outside it's 150 degrees and I'm like, no, no, I want fall. Hopper's morning routine. Um, I was talking to Kirby and I was like, okay, so this is my order. This is what I want to go in for. Is there anything I should add? She goes, Hopper's morning routine. You have to try it. I said, okay. She knows what I like. Remember, mornings are far. Oh, remember, mornings are for coffee and contemplation. So indulge in glazed donuts drizzled in caramel sauce with a steaming cup of black coffee, just like Detective Hopper which is from Stranger Things. This is nice. It's very interesting because as I'm smelling it, the black coffee, you can tell it's black coffee, like not an espresso. I'm learning way more about like different coffees as I'm getting a lot more coffee blends in my house. And it is more of that like bitter black coffee, which I'm not upset about. And rich caramel and donuts. Yeah, this kind of like captures the cafe. I think I would like this a little more if it was an espresso mixed with those notes. Just because I do get a lot of the bitter black coffee. And personally, I can't drink coffee anymore um, with my acid reflux. But I really think this really captures that coffee. But definitely more of like a bitter coffee. If you like that, definitely give it a try. All right, this is a little ghosty shape, and I only have one, and this is Be Careful What You Wish For, as I drop it. This is blackberry jam butter cookie, zucchini bread, and fresh picked strawberries. Mm, sounds delish. Okay. This is a third, third, third ratio. So, blackberry jam butter cookie, absolutely love. Zucchini bread, yes. Kirby zucchini bread is one of the best. It is that truly baked zucchini bread. And then fresh picked strawberries, which she's also known for because it is truly like a, a nice fresh picked strawberry. A little artificial, but I do really enjoy it. And you smell them all. You smell them all in here, and it's blended really, really well. I could definitely see, like, next year after this is, like, cured, rich, really great, that I will want a loaf of this because I think the blends together are really, really, really outstanding. And it's so cute because this ghost has black glitter on it. Black bat glitter, sorry. There's, like, little bats in it. Really like that. Really like that one. All right, now I have three film bars. One is Lady Applejack, and I didn't realize how popular this blend was from her, and I never tried it because I'm not a super big cereal fan in wax. I just, I can take it or leave it, and I was like, mm, cereal, but everybody raves about it. It's one film bar. I have to try all of Kirby's popular scents, and this is Applejack's cereal-inspired blend. So the Applejacks are like cinnamon apple cereal, right? Yeah. Oh, this is really yummy. This is really yummy. You get the, like, dustiness. It's amazing how when you smell cereal scents from vendors, how, or from candle companies, some candle companies do it too, how you truly can smell the dust at the bottom of the bag in blends, and this you really do. You smell the dust at the bottom of the bag. You smell the cinnamon, apple, toasty cereal, like crunchy cereal. <sighs> I really like that. Really like that. Really like that. Did you know I really like that? Really like it. This one I purely got based on the name. 
Little Shop of Horrors. This is the last musical that I saw that was local here in Pittsburgh before the pandemic. It was the last show before the world shut down. So Little Shop of Horrors always holds a special place in my heart. And if, in, if you're in New York, it's off Broadway right now. This is pumpkin cheesecake, snickerdoodle, and salted caramel. Doesn't sound bad either. And no, it doesn't. Okay, this smells like a like a Cheesecake Factory cheesecake. Because it's not just cheesecake. It's salted caramel and snickerdoodle. Almost like you took a you made like a homemade pumpkin cheesecake, but you replaced the crust with a snickerdoodle crust. Because you get that cinnamon sugar cookie mixed with the creaminess of the cheesecake. And then those warm pumpkin pie spices with a swirl of caramel. I don't really get a lot of sea salt for like salted caramel. I definitely get more of a creamy caramel delicious pumpkin cheesecake with a snickerdoodle crust. That is fabulous. I love Kirby's blends. And then the last one before the sampler is Aunt Nellie's Espresso Cupcakes. Now, I don't even realize why I bought this. Not that I don't like it, but I have so much of this. I don't even know why I ordered this. Espresso beans, rich vanilla cupcakes, zucchini bread, and sugar cookies. But I love it. So, I'm not upset about it. It's just a very creamy, creamy coffee. I feel like this, you could melt in the mornings if you want a coffee scent, but your family is not big into coffee because it's a very creamy, mellow coffee. And I like that it's espresso cupcakes because it is almost like you just made a very rich cupcake with espresso buttercream where there's just like a hint of espresso enough where you get the flavor. It is pretty though. See, I say that and as I smell it, I'm like, oh no, it's amazing. I love it. Yeah, so I'm excited to melt more. It is really good. It is a really good light cupcake. I don't get any zucchini bread though, but that's okay. I mean, I like that it's like an espresso delicious cupcake. All right, let's move on to the sampler. All right, so this is the sampler and it is the sweet as sugar cookies sampler. So there's a lot of different coins in here. So I'm just gonna take one out and get started. The first one we have is bless your heart and these are just one coin. So these will be good for the bathroom. And this is Wildberry Mousse, Rich Sugar Cookies, and Waffle Cone. Nice. It's like a creamy Wildberry Mousse. And Wildberry Mousse is different than Blackberry Jam Butter Cookie because it is kind of just that, like, creamed berry, but definitely, like, very whipped. And I feel like Wildberry Mousse isn't used in a ton of wax anymore. I don't know why because it is really special and really delightful, but we'll see. Next, we have Forrest and Jenny. I'm going through these pretty quickly just because there's a lot. This is Rich Sugar Cookies Waffle Cone and Sugared Peach Slices. Ooh, this is nice. This is like a peach waffle. Wait, hold on. This is like a peach waffle cone. But I will say, if you're familiar with Teddy B's Peach Cobbler Circus Cookies, it's not the same, but it does remind me of it, which is different because I feel like I have not smelled anybody have a peach quite like Teddy B's. Next is Sally's Strawberry Pound Cake Bakery. And this is just like walking into a bakery filled with sugar cookies and strawberry pound cake. I want a strawberry pound cake in a bakery. Oh yeah. A very rich bakery, really rich bakery. I feel like because strawberry pound cake is in so many things, it's kind of hard to detect other things with it, but you definitely can tell with that one. This one is Sunny Side of the Sugar Cookie Street, and this is Lemon Coconut Butter Cake and Sugar Cookies. Yum. Oh, that's yummy. That's really yummy. Oh, very like bakery, sugary lemon. Like a lemon sugar, but like lemon sugar. I don't really get any coconut. 
Cookie Monsters Strawberry Cheesecake. I love her Cookie Monster blends. This is doughy sugar cookies with strawberry cheesecake buttercream frosting dipped in sweet milk. I say I don't really like sweet milk scents, but it is in Cookie Monster. Oh, this is magical. Oh, wow. Oh, oh my gosh. That is amazing. It's really like cheesecake. Like, you really get, like, froth in the froth. Like, rich, fluffy, cream cheese and graham cracker. Mixed with strawberries. Okay. Well, that is magical. I don't get really Cookie Monster. I get real life, like, strawberry cheesecake. Cookie Monsters Strawberry Cheesecake. This is magic. I'm putting this over here because I need to text Kirby to make some more. Oh, Sally's Raspberry Danish. I didn't even look. I just said, this is a cute sampler. Fresh baked raspberry Danish drizzled with cream cheese frosting and rich sugar cookie crumbles. There's that raspberry. Very similar to Raspberry Jam Bakery, though. So don't, like, feel like if you missed out on one, you need the other. Sally's Raspberry Danish. Yeah, because it is, again, that really sugary bakery mixed with the raspberry. That is one thing, like, I love Kirby. Do not get me wrong. But I feel like a lot of scents are very similar to each other. But that's with a lot of places, isn't it? But I, don't know, I just feel like there's a lot of similarities in some sense with like the bakeries and the doughs and all that. Next we have Modern Stone Age Family and this is yellow cake with sugar cookie dough filling topped with fruity pebbles. Yeah, this one's okay. I don't love fruity pebbles. Like I said, I don't love cereal scents. That Apple Jack's different. That was really good. But yeah. Mm, it's okay. It's like a fruity... Fruity Pebbles cake scent. Oh my gosh, they, they keep coming. Scratch Bakery. And this is powdered donuts, rich sugar cookies, and fresh picked strawberries. Yum. This is good. This is just like a strawberry bakery. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like a creamy strawberry bakery. Nothing like to write home about. Bell, I actually have Bell in a loaf. This is blueberry meringue tort and sugar cookie dough. I really like this. Like I said, I got it in a loaf. It's a very bright blueberry bakery. Like it's not like where you have like thick, rich blueberries, like a blueberry muffin. It is more like light and airy and a fruity blueberry bakery. So I really like that one. And then last but not least, Nelly is too sweet. Spelled T-W-O for number two. Oh, boy. Sugar cookie cake donut topped with cotton candy frosting, vanilla butter fried fudge, and a maraschino cherry. You know I don't like cherry. Nope. That's like a sweet bakery with cherry. So... Anyway, that was the sampler. I, I kind of did it really quickly just because there was a lot in the video. I already had a lot to share. But thank you all so much for watching. What did you guys pick up from Vintage Chic Scents recently? What are you hoping she pours this fall? I know that the Warrens is like one of my favorite scents. I have some backups. I cannot wait to chop up for a little fun project that I have coming that I'm going to share with you guys. It's a secret because I'm still working on it. But... It'll be announced for the first week of fall, which is still a while away, but put a little sneak peek in your ear to make sure you stay tuned for the first week of fall. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Be kind. Make it a better world. You matter. And I love you all so much. Bye, guys.